Vusi Tembekwayo, a successful South African entrepreneur, once made the statement that Africans have been sold the lie of small business. In our understanding, what he meant is, as Africans, we have been convinced to believe that building a big global company is not necessary. Rather, it's enough to have a local business that serves people in a small service area. We have been conditioned to play it safe more often than not. Fortunately enough, the likes of Nathan Kish did not adhere to this. Nathan is a Swazi South African billionaire worth 4 billion US dollars as of 2020. Kish owns a property empire that spans across the United Kingdom, Swaziland, and Australia. Kish started small in his native country, Swaziland, establishing a corn milling business there in 1958. He went on to expand his business in apartheid South Africa, turning it from a wholesale food distribution into a variety of other categories like supermarkets and commercial property development. A few years forward, a South African investment company called Sanlam bought up 49% of the company and reached agreements on the company's behalf to build a slew of financially unfeasible shopping malls that were supported by company assets. Subsequently, Nathan went bankrupt, however, he later managed to recover his fortune thanks to Jetro Holdings, which operates Jetro Cash and Curry stores and restaurant depots in the New York City area, supplying wholesale goods to bodegas, small stores, and restaurants. Today, the bulk of his wealth comes from Jetro Holdings, in which he has a 63% stake. Apart from businesses, Kish is an active charity supporter, especially in his home country, Swaziland where he has supplied more than 10,000 people with starter capital for small businesses. With this gesture, he embodies a lyric from a famous rap song that goes, Around here, we measure success by how many people successful around you. Taking the initiative to build people that are not with his resources might be his way of obtaining fulfillment. Also, he is dedicated to the cause of Swazi High Schools to be the first in Africa to guarantee graduates that are computer literate. Although he carries a Swazi passport, the Swazi billionaire also holds residency in the United Kingdom and the United States. He is a married man with three children. Nathan Kirsch is outspoken about his views on technology today. He says that it comes in so many different formats and from his own personal experience, running a business today is not like running a business was years ago. Today. Technology gives you instant information on pretty much everything you do. He said, I run a vast operation in America, and I have instant information on everything I want to know. This could never have happened before. I was just busy looking at some figures on operations in America and seeing a real deflationary situation looking at last year's prices against this year's prices in perishable products such as meat, fish, produce, and things like that. The way you do business has changed, where you can do business has changed, and how you can do business has changed, so you can operate from almost anywhere and have instant information. You don't have to go to an office anymore. Change has occurred in so many different ways and in so many different places that it's almost unbelievable. Nathan has also happened to share the features he looks out for before investing in a business. He said, I am very reluctant to invest in something where I can see the finishing line before I start. I look at things that have scale, but then you have to be at a certain point in time in your business cycle. I am in a very mature business cycle where I am not looking to start new things. This would not be what I looked for 30, 40, or even 20 years ago. His investment philosophy is that he only invests where he is comfortable with management. While the amount of money being invested matters, he feels that who's going to look after it matters more. The right type of management can manage almost any situation. Difficult operations can be well managed by competent people who know what they are doing, whereas great opportunities can be messed up by people who don't know what they are doing. Having had an illustrious business career, one of the most important life lessons he has learned along the way is the importance of integrity. He said, 
Nothing has shaken the world more than the lack of integrity in the banking system. When I was a young man, the bank and the bank manager were the height of probity and correctness, and when you see all the rigging that has taken place in the banking sector, it's absolutely awful. They punished the shareholders who had nothing to do with it. 250 billion US dollars plus fines have been paid by the shareholders, while the guys who perpetrated it were virtually untouched. I can understand that companies should be required to give back money that they might have made through a lack of integrity on the part of their staff, but to take huge funds out of their banking system can do enormous harm. Integrity in business is vital. We recently saw the lack of integrity at Volkswagen that shocked the whole business world. The consequences have still not been spelled out to the individuals, the company, or indeed Germany. Make sure you can always stand tall. That is a very powerful message for businesses or entrepreneurs at any stage of the business cycle. Thanks for watching.